Baby, where are we going? We are off to couples retreat for a couple weeks. 14 days of prison. <laughs> Emotional prison, right? Are you ready? We have a long day. Peace day. Today is going to be a nightmare. Just to do this therapy, I hope it's going to work for us. Do you think it will? If you let yourself go and gonna listen, then yes. We will see. The first group therapy session kind of feels like walking into sudden death or something. Just got real. Welcome, welcome. Please have a seat. I have been doing therapy with couples for 40 years, and I know there can be healing in relationships. And I think my colleagues absolutely would agree that miracles can happen. I have been a therapist for many years, and uh, generally therapists, you know, we, we need to listen more than speak. The first therapy session is really about the observation, seeing them interact with each other. Molly and Kelly, uh, they didn't sit next to each other. They sat about, what, three, four chairs apart. Definitely, we picked up the vibe that something's up. Well, I was kind of hurt and embarrassed. I was like, damn, we go to the couples retreat, all the couples are sitting next to each other, and she don't even want to sit next to me, so why are we here? Well, I wasn't really thinking about that. I mean, you could have got up and came inside over there. It is what it is. I didn't sit next to you. I didn't. So, Molly, tell us a little bit about what brought the two of you here today. Um, I think that we're just trying to understand where did that fire, that passion, that thing that I saw in him or he saw in me fizzle out. What about you, Kelly? Um, just basically seeing this relationship, see if it's valid, see if what we had in the beginning was real. So when we started off, you were here and, and you were over here, Molly. What, what was going on that you were sitting away from Kelly? Honestly, I just didn't feel compelled to just be sitting over here like, this is great because it's not for me. It's not a great situation. Kelly, what is it that would need to change in your mind in order to get reconnected? I don't know who this woman is. I don't know. I really, if I knew how she, I would have never moved to Georgia. Never. I told you not to come here. And that's another slap in my face. 